probably heard about this breakthrough study showing that psychedelics promote neuroplasticity through intracellular serotonin 2A receptors. Let's get you up to speed. So we already knew that psychedelics like psilocybin cause brain cells to grow and form new connections. This is called neuroplasticity. And we knew that they do this by acting on the serotonin 2A receptor. But until now, we had assumed that this happens on the outside of cells. The mind-blowing part is right here, intracellular. Let me explain. We typically think of brain cells communicating at synapses like this. One cell releases a neurotransmitter, like serotonin, which floats over and binds to receptors on the receiving cell. And we'd always assumed that psychedelics just bind the receptor like serotonin does. But this study showed that psychedelics actually act on receptors inside of the cell that serotonin can't access. The serotonin molecule has certain chemical properties that don't allow it to pass through the outer membrane of cells. But psychedelics like DMT or psilocybin can enter the cell. The researchers tested a bunch of psychedelics and they found that the drugs that most easily crossed the cell membrane caused the most neuroplasticity. How? Well, they found that there were pools of the serotonin receptor inside of brain cells rather than on the outer membrane. And those seem critical for causing neuroplasticity. When they prevented drugs like DMT from crossing the cell membrane, they saw much less neuroplasticity. And on the other hand, when they made serotonin capable of crossing the membrane, they saw more plasticity than when it couldn't cross the membrane. So what does this mean? Well, first off, it shakes up how we thought psychedelics were working. We weren't wrong. We knew that it was acting through this receptor and causing neuroplasticity, but we didn't know that it was happening inside of cells in this unique type of signaling. Second, it kind of explains why drugs that act on serotonin, like SSRIs, produce such different effects from psychedelics and don't make you trip because serotonin can't cross the membrane and act on these receptors. And third, it could mean that these receptors are not even meant to be activated by serotonin. Certain psychedelic compounds like DMT exist naturally in the brain. So those receptors might be there to be activated by other molecules and not serotonin. Mind-blowing stuff and definitely one of the biggest psychedelic papers in recent years. Follow for more neuroscience and hit me with your questions.